Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 15 Parts A, B, and D In Part A, we must add or subtract these radicals as indicated. When you're adding and subtracting radicals, you need to look for like terms. What makes a like term? The same value under the same radical. If we look at it like this, we have 2 times the cube root of 5 minus 7 times the cube root of 5 plus the cube root of 5. And we note that the coefficient of the third and last term is 1. So how do we do this? Well, again, we think in terms of like terms. How would we simplify the following? If we had 2x minus 7x plus 1x, we would add or, and or subtract the coefficients 2 minus 7 and positive 1. 2 and 1 is 3, and 3 take away 7 is negative 4. This would be negative 4x. So likewise, the answer to our problem is negative 4 times the cube root of 5. Let's move on to part B. Let's start with the first term. We will work on the radicals and bring the rest of the pieces in after we've worked on the radicals. Here we have square root of 20 times the square root of x squared. The square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. 4 is the biggest perfect square factor of 20. Here we have x raised to the 2 divided by the root number, and that root number is implied to be 2. Here we have the square root of 112 times the square root of y to the 6th. The largest perfect square that divides into 112 is 16. So we have the square root of 16 times the square root of 7, because 16 times 7 is 112, times y raised to the 6th divided by the root number. Again, the root number is 2. Square root of 80 times the square root of x squared. The largest perfect square that divides into 80 without remainder is 16. We have square root of 16 times the square root of 5 times x raised to the 2 divided by the root number. Square root of 4 times square root of 7 times y to the 6 divided by the root number. Let's bring it all together. We have this 3 times 2 times square root of 5 times x to the first power, and x to the first power is simply x, plus 4 times square root of 7 times y to the third, minus 2 times 4 times square root of 5 times x to the first power, which is x, plus 2 times 2 times square root of 7 times y to the third. The first term we have 6x times the square root of 5 plus 4 times y cubed times the square root of 7 minus 8x square root of 5 plus 4y cubed times the cube root of 7. This term and this term are like terms because they both have this factor, x square root of 5. When we add the coefficients, 6 and minus 8, we get negative 2, and we get the same type of like term, x square root of 5. These two terms are like terms as well. They both have factors, y cubed square root of 7. When we add their coefficients, 4 and 4, we get 8 and we get the same type of like term, y cubed square root of 7. And that is our answer. Let's look at part D. We will have to simplify these cube root radicals in order to look for any possible like terms. As it stands, we cannot add and or subtract these terms together because we don't have the same radicand, the same number under the cube root radical. But perhaps after simplifying the radicals, we might have some like terms. 
We need to generate a list of perfect cube numbers to see if any of these perfect cube numbers divide the numbers inside the radical. 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 to the third power, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 to the third power, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 5 to the third power, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. 6 to the third power, 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. This list of perfect cube numbers we might find useful for simplifying the radicals. In the first term, we have 2 times the perfect cube number that divides into 16 without remainder. We have 8. So over here we have cube root of 8 times the cube root of 2, because 2 times 8 is 16. Bring down the plus 7 times. Which of these perfect cube numbers divides 250? The largest to do so is 125. So we have cube root of 125 times cube root of 2, because 2 times 125 is 250. Bring down the minus 3 times. Which of these perfect cube numbers divides into 54? The largest to do so is 27. So we have cube root of 27 times cube root of 2. We have 2 times 2 times cube root of 2 plus 7 times the cube root of 125 is 5 times the cube root of 2 minus 3 times the cube root of 27 is 3 times the cube root of 2 we have 4 cube root of 2 plus 35 cube root of 2 minus 9 cube root of 2. We have like terms. 4 plus 35 is 39. Take away 9 is 30. So our answer is 30 cube root of 2.